story, it really helps uh, ground the reality of um, the significance of a change, like moving from uh, an institutional setting to a community home. Uh, we want to be able to learn from Chris's experience about um, what's gone well, what we could do better uh, in the future so that we can help uh, not only developmental center movers, but all the people we serve. He is very representative of the demographic that we have collected in this first year of the MLS study. He is male, largely nonverbal, and we wanted to put a face to that type of individual, and we wanted to show what his, what his life is like. The purpose of the MLS study is to monitor um, individuals for the first two years after they transition from a developmental center into the community um, to, see, um, to see what changes occur. You know, it shakes out to, to really look like um, teams of people finding out, you know, who the individual is now in their um, living in the developmental center, what the assessment of their needs and what their aspirations are. It includes that whole, you know, individual program plan that really is person-centered um, to really understand where we, what kinds of services and, and home situations we want to develop. The staff at the uh, developmental center that works um, specifically to both help with the transition of individuals into the community and then uh, do a lot of monitoring um, over the first year to make sure that the situations are beneficial. The process for moving individuals with developmental disabilities from a developmental center into a community home is a very uh, careful and deliberate process. And the first step is uh, we develop a home, of course, and that's a much longer process. We select providers. The staff from the home will come up to SDC and spend at least a full shift. Um, it, the, the different three shifts they'll come and train with the individual and the staff that know them best so that they know the ins and outs of how they like to live their life. So it was great uh, for us to go over there and, and get the experience from the staff that has been there for a very long time. Um, it's always a new environment for them once they come out and once they get to the house. And we know that, that it's a new environment, but it's always good to know what has worked in the past, what is it that they have done. Um, and how we can use it in the home as well when he's here, so. The goal to match the, the supports and in particular the providers in the homes with the individuals and with the other, obviously with the other residents of the home, the other people. So Chris has a lot of great receptive language skills and so we wanted to make sure that he had uh, peers that were compatible with him um, especially peers that could perhaps talk a little bit more than Chris and help foster l language building skills. So we thought that that would be a good, good fit for him. And it's important to Chris to have a lot of choices of activities, but not a lot of demand to complete things in a timely fashion. It's important to him to be able to go outside when he wants to and have a, a safe space to do so. In the transition for folks, it's a big move, um, and sometimes they have complicated both medical and behavioral support needs, and so we do everything we can to try to anticipate um, you know, the most healthy and productive and, and positive beneficial transitions that we can. He also has a lot of um, allergy concerns, and so we wanted to make sure that we had a good doctor in place before he moved. It's important to him that people understand what he's desiring when he feels pain. Um, and it's important for Chris to have great doctors that understand his, he has a lot of headaches and he has a lot of allergies and sinus issues. And so he needs a good doctor that's able to manage those. It's important for him to be in a, in a home that's safe, even though he's a very strong and healthy man. Um, he doesn't have a lot of sta safety awareness and can't protect himself in a lot of situations. Something that you should always do is always um, let him know that you're um, being, you're there for him. So whether it's he's sitting down, just give him like a little fist pump knowing that, that you know that he's there. That way he doesn't feel left out. Um, 
something that you shouldn't do. Um, give Chris too many prompts, too many directions, because you'll just um, make his head spin, and he'll probably have a not so very day after that. His day program, his routine. So anything that has to do with his routine is very important to him. Um, food, um, his time alone. So he'll um, he'll go into his bedroom and close the door, and uh, he does not want to be disturbed at that time. So um, very important that we respect that of him. I think he's a bit more social in general. Um, he adapted quickly to his new roommates. He did have a big of problem at the beginning, but then right away he adapted as soon as the other guys also adapted to the environment, then he's fine with everybody else. I think in terms of moving around the house and knowing what is expected of him, he knows what it is. It's like as far as uh, getting ready, his chores, laundry, helping in the kitchen as well. He's very comfortable with the staff and he knows the staff already. So if he knows he needs something, he'll come up to the staff. We have been working with him uh, with pictures. And he's able to recognize the things that are highly motivated for him, like food. <laughs> so, um, so we're working on that and some kind of exchange that if he wants something, then he can show us the pictures. The outings as well, uh, at the beginning, uh, it was a bit of a challenge with Costco, for example. It was a bit too bright and crowded for him. Now he's happy to go to Costco and he'll get in the car right away and get the groceries. So um, I think just his daily living in general, it's, it's, uh, he has learned a lot and he's more independent and I think he's enjoying his home. I like how, or I admire that he has become very, most likely for us, very independent. If he needs to um, let us know about his feelings, he's not very verbal, but he lets us know by his body language. He's very happy sometimes. He's more comfortable when he, whenever he comes in. He likes to look nice and clean, and, and we like that as well. It's like he'll come home and He'll pick his clothes. We just have to make sure that they're clean and ready. And he knows very well what's dirty clothes and what's clean. Um, he knows, for example, if he picks a t-shirt that he really likes, it has to be washed first. So he'll pick up his things and take him to the laundry room. It is important that the staff um, stays on top of his uh, meals every time. So he has done a lot better. He slowed down a bit more from when he first came in. Um, but if he likes something a lot, it's like he won't um, take a break. He'll just keep on going. So it's important that the staff is aware of that and that they help him with that. At the three-month interview, he didn't answer any questions. At the six-month interview, he nodded saying, I like it here. And so that to me was an indication that he does like it. He, he's He's happy there. It's been uh, six months since he's moved there. Um, he has a routine that um, he enjoys. And he knows his routine. Um, he's um, he adjusted very well. He knows the house. Um, he has his place that he finds um, where it, when he needs a long time, he retreated to the backyard. And they said he loves the backyard where there's a beautiful garden. He sits in the backyard and he uh, by himself when he wants quiet time and when he wants to be with the other consumer, he came back into the house, sat watching TV or listening to the TV and, and was really just engaged throughout the time we were there. It means everyone from the director, myself, to our entire community services department, to a significant number on the, on the service coordination and social work side, uh, it takes a tremendous amount of uh, attention and effort from all of us. Um, but the benefits are, are wonderful. This is his home and I, and I think he, he gets that. It's his home and I can lay down whenever I want, I can go and do laundry, I can go prepare food, I can do different things, go and shower when I feel like it. Um, so I think that's been great for him, just getting to know his home and being comfortable with the home and with everybody else here.
So Chris is one of the youngest people on my caseload, and so he has a lot of energy, and he has this infectious smile. He's very polite and always well-dressed, and he buttons his shirt all the way up, and he, he just looks great, and he gives you great eye contact. He's a very, very smart guy, and he's a delight every time I see him. He's learning something new, and um, he's learning how to communicate, and I think that that's been really rewarding for him to be heard and be understood more. So he's been a real pleasure to serve.